lead to 1-0 away here at Brighton the Vitality Stadium a bit of a strange game um, um, you know ending off with a 90th minute um, conceding the 90th minute but it was like it was it, you got to feel for the players because we just used so much energy with nine men throughout the whole ninth second half what do you what do you think of the performance I thought uh, first half I know we got there late but from what I'm hearing we should have been three four nil up Lucas Moura could have had a hat trick um, I thought the performance was good I thought second half Sonny gets sent off for a what's he doing like even if it's not sending off you can't react like that yeah, whatever happens it's so unlike him though really out of character yeah it's just it's just disgrace and then Foyth comes on for Alderweireld or Dyer because they were about to get sent off and then he lunges in and super challenge but it was weird because Foyth he comes on like, in centre back and then he like strides forward making this pretty really positive he run up the why does he have to make that challenge over there no because what he was doing because what happened was he was striding forward from centre back he was actually trying to start an attack for us he was um he was trying to make the extra run in, in midfield kind of uh, really it was really common from run it was actually really good he went past like two players and then he slightly overran the ball and he was stretching to kind of poke it towards I think it was Ali and he just stretched too far and he went over the top of the ball and unfortunately it was a dangerous challenge at the end of the day because he came in at pace without control it was, it was definitely and a sending off, but I thought once when once we went down to nine men, I thought we were really good. I thought we we were compact. I thought we put on a proud, proud performance and very brave as well. But yeah. you know, last minute goal it just wasn't to be at the end of the day. Yeah, but you know, saying that the res we need a result in this game because the cost of the top four race, um, because Arsenal got Brighton coming up and you know Chelsea have Watford, they can close the gap on us now. We really need those three points to confirm a top four place. So I know it was a brave performance, but. It's just how, how much trouble are we in now going to the last day? I mean, it's just simple as. You've got to get a result against Everton. It's just as simple as that. It's, it's still in our hands. But, you know, they're on good form and we're now son, son suspended. Um, so we're going to have, uh, no, and we're assuming no Kane still. So we're going to have the same team that played against West, uh, was it West Ham? Was it uh, Ajax in the first leg? I, so rumours Kane might be back for the final game of the season. Know, I mean, but I mean, yeah, then so what? We're going to be relying on Vincent Janssen and, and Fernando Llorente with Lucas maybe? I mean, Lorente, Lorente got to the semi-finals and the quarter-finals of the Euro Champions League, so it's not too shabby of a player to do that. But having said that, look, we just need to win our last game. I don't care how we win it off the backside of maybe Vincent maybe Brighton can do us a favour. You never know. Yeah, let's hope Chrissy Hutton. He's got Tottenham in his blood, so he can do us a favour. Were you impressed by the Bournemouth keeper today? He got man of the match at the end of the day, even though we were down to nine men. Um, the, the saves he made in the first half really kept the score at nil-nil, and luckily for them, it was nil-nil at the start of time. They got sent off because we were the better team. So uh, yeah, he played well, but we got to be doing better in front of goal. We got to be doing better. We can't have that many clear-cut chances and not put any away. Yeah, it's like we've Nelly lost had that header. Lucas had a couple chances. Really good saves from 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 their keepers. But yeah, you're right. Again, a lack of uh, ruthless, ruthlessness in front we've of goal. We said it. We've said it time and time again against about Lucas Mora. I thought he was absolutely. I thought he played well today. But it's just yeah. his final product, his end product, his finishing. It's just not there. But you got to give him so much credit for his performance in the second half. Oh, yeah. him, he was being a lone front man, asking asked to um, hold the ball up, and you know, at, at times he was he was one against four or five, and it was being like three or four players, and then laying off to Erickson in Delhi, and it was really impressive. I thought it should, he should have won us a penalty at the end as well, uh, just before that corner. But you know, sometimes it doesn't go for you. We were down to nine men. We put on a brave performance. I know it was kind of it could be detrimental in our top four things, but all we have to do is win at Everton or at home to Everton. So it's a positive though in the fact that the way the way we started the game in the first half an hour or so, we kind of we were playing really some really nice football, creating really we're looking really recreative, really and we obviously we are going to have eleven men back for Ajax on Wednesday. So is it positive that eleven against eleven we looked at our create we looked at our attacking backs we looked fresh we didn't look tired and it's that bold well going into the game on Wednesday potentially. Yeah, I think if no one, if you can't get up for the game on Wednesday, then you you, got, you can't be a professional footballer. Look, Champions League semi final, second leg to go into the final. Like, if you if there's no motivation for that, or if you think you're tired for that, adrenaline should push you through. Yeah. Okay. So we've obviously got away Amsterdam. We're going to Ajax on Wednesday night. We're actually flying out on Tuesday. Absolutely could not wait for this game. I know it's a bit of a downer losing today, but I think the team should put in a performance that showed that the, 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 we're, we're, we're together as a collective. So, you know, we've got to be up for that game on Wednesday night. You know, the fans showed their appreciation today. It was one of those weird ones, you know, where even though we lost, the fans were clapping them off. As soon as we conceded, the fans started cheering, um, you know, uh, showing the fan, their appreciation the for the team. You could see how the, how the players were doing on the pitch today because they were in full voice even yeah. though we were struggling against the Bournemouth side yeah. and that doesn't happen too often so look let's just let's move on let's go to Amsterdam let's get this win let's go to the final and yeah
All right, like, subscribe, and comment below. Let us know what you thought of the game in the comments below. And as always, how are you, Spurs?